Today we're going to talk about how to create a protein powder in the Genesis Supplement software. So the screen in front of me that's open is um, the formula screen and I'm creating a formula called protein powder. So um, the formula has two ingredients that I previously entered into the software. One is soy protein isolate. Um, you can see it's in there as 10,000 milligrams. So I can um, expand that to show the nutrients that I got from my spec sheet for this particular ingredient. So you can see it has you know, some proximate information, um, the uh, carbohydrates um, and protein and so forth, and then also um, some amino acids. And it's the amino acids that we're going to be highlighting on our label. So there's the soy protein isolate, and then the whey protein concentrate, which has 40,000 milligrams of that particular ingredient in there too. And you can see it's um, similar that I got from my specification sheet. Various nutrients that are in this particular ingredient, including the amino acids. So there will be some amino acid overlap uh, between the two ingredients. I've entered in here also for my protein powder some other um, information for my label, such as the serving size up here as one scoop, servings per container as 30, the prepared amount as one cup. So let's go over to the label then and see what this looks like. So when I first um, click on the label, a new label, this is what the, it comes up with. So there are nutrients that are governed by the nutrition labeling regulations above the black line there. And then below the black line, we have our two ingredients that were used to make up this particular formula. So when I click on whey protein concentrate, on the left-hand side, it tells me the components, the nutrients you know, that are a part of this particular ingredient. You can see that some of the components have a P next to them here. So these are the options for these particular components for Glutamic acid, I could put S for show, B for bold, I for italics, and P for promote. So it's the promote option that we're highlighting today. If I click on promote next to glutamic acid, it will take that particular component and it'll left justify it on the label um, right under these two, the whey protein concentrate and the soy protein. There. And you can see now um, it's the amino acid. And then this amount here is the amount of that particular amino acid that's contained in both of these ingredients. So if I click on another P for promote leucine, I'll see that listed on the label as well. Again, listing the amount that's in uh, both of the, um, the combined amount from both ingredients. So then if I click on glutamic acid itself, I can show where the glutamic is coming from, the source ingredients. And the same thing with the leucine. And if an, an amino acid um, only came from one of these two, the whey protein or the soy protein, then um, only one of those particular um, um, ingredients you know, would be listed. And these are listed in the um, predominant order. So more of the glutamic acid comes from the whey protein than, for the, than from the soy protein. Now, um, now that I have, once I have all of my amino acids listed here, then I would no longer need to list these particular sources. So I can remove, um, remove it from the label. There. So this um, just gives an example of um, um, a couple, rather than going through all of the amino acids, I do have um, a label that I've completed um, previously to just sort of show you what a finished label um, would look like. So this is what that label would look like if I um, promoted all of the amino acids that were in the two ingredients. And you can see that the proline and the tyrosine were just from the whey protein and weren't contained in the soy um, at all. So um, this gives you an example of how to 
uh, put together a label for a soy pro for a protein powder in the Genesis supplement software.